Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today's video topic is going to be very controversial inside the YouTube community, but I'm going to try to tie this into Call of Duty World War II, and hopefully it will relate to you guys as well. It's a little different video that I normally like to upload, but hey, we're going to try it anyway. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard of the main issue that a lot of other content creators are having right now, and it's that their videos are being deemed advertiser unfriendly. So basically, these major companies decline the option to put their ads over a certain YouTuber's videos, basically because of the type of content that they upload onto YouTube and a lot of my friends have been getting hit with these uh, types of content that isn't anything that should be deemed advertiser unfriendly but what's odd about this is these ad companies will put the same ads over stuff that you know is a lot more violent than like a simple YouTube video so say for example The Walking Dead uh, maybe there'll be like a Coca-Cola ad over that uh, over that TV series it's something like that but if YouTubers are getting this little flag because of the gameplay that they're uploading or the way they title their video or tag it then what's that gonna say when they upload Call of Duty World War II gameplay? This game is a lot more bloody and gory than compared to Infinite Warfare, which is a little bit more child friendly, or maybe Black Ops 3, just a tiny bit. And this has me very worried, not only for just some of the content creators, mainly the bigger channels, but also for the smaller ones. Literally everyone is at risk now that upload Call of Duty World War II gameplay. And uh, like I said, the gameplay is gonna play a factor, the titles and tagging, all of that is gonna play a huge factor into what will get hit with this content flag and uh, be deemed advertiser unfriendly and I think part of the reason why this is happening is because we are in this era where you can't really say anything without offending the other person even if it is in a joking matter like earlier this week I was in a live stream with my friend it's bunny HD and uh, we we're making fun of one of my friends and then a viewer in that live stream just started getting very very uh, offended by what we said even though we weren't really uh, directing everything we said to him and uh, I don't know it, it was just a very weird situation and like I said we were all friends and there we all do this all the time to each other and they just started going off on us and you know how we're uh, mean spirited people this and that and it was very very uh, odd to me and like I said we're just in this age right now where you can't say anything without offending the other person you can't really say jokes anymore and it, I don't know it's just definitely a very weird time I think people need to learn to take a joke and uh, just laugh once in a while and you know not really take everything so seriously also another reason is that these ad companies are afraid of losing money by having their ad play before or during a video right when they say something that's like either racist or sexist and for that I can understand why but YouTube needs to do a better job of identifying the issue with the video and what the content creator can do to make sure that it does not happen again because it's not just the content creator that is losing out on the money it's also YouTube itself because they make a small cut of what the video creator makes as well but since the video doesn't get the ad roll then nobody gets paid I just really hope YouTube does a better job of communicating with the video creators or else I could definitely see a lot more YouTubers in the Call of Duty scene at least quitting or at least posting videos not as frequently. For me, I'm still always going to upload videos for you guys no matter what. The money is not really what I'm in for. I don't really care too much about that. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you and say that it's not nice to have but it's really just a small piece of the entire fraction of what I love about uh, making videos about the game that I love and uh, so yeah, I'm always going to post videos until I physically can't anymore because of school. And to be honest, that is the only reason why I could see myself not posting videos anymore onto YouTube but I I do have a pretty good, uh, I guess, grasp of the material that I'm going to be learning for college, so that's not really too big of an issue right now, but I don't know. There's always something that could change up for me, uh, maybe like a job or something like that. I don't know, but for right now, you guys are stuck with me for uh, for as long as I can think of right now. I'm not just going to leave you guys without any uh, content. You guys are going to be stuck with me for a while, so yeah, I really do love posting videos. I love the interaction. I love talking to you guys. I love the Call of Duty game that I post, and uh, so yeah, guys, you, you all are stuck with me for a while. Just keep that in mind, but I want you guys to tell me your thoughts about this whole entire Call of Duty World War 2 YouTube apocalypse in the comment section down below. Also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and thanks so much for watching. I'm Averts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time. I'll see you guys later.